The Chinese Communist Party has embarked on a strategy to gain control over the global digital and information environment. Its goal is to create an alternative global order with China at its heart. The Chinese see the current international order as incompatible with its rise, which they largely blame on the U.S. seeking to contain it. And the Chinese government has come to see gaining what they call discourse power, or international legitimacy and agenda-setting power, as increasingly key to its survival. China's identified controlling global connectivity, including governance of the digital and information environments, as a primary way to gain a discourse power advantage. It has also focused a lot of this activity in the global south. There's a misconception that China is trying to export authoritarianism, and this is not really true. China doesn't care about the regime type of the countries it's engaging with, it only cares about gaining buy-in for its interests. For China, discourse power translates into increased geopolitical power by allowing it to create consensus around an alternative China-led international order, one that prioritizes state sovereignty and security over civil liberties and human rights. In this way, China's strategy is more of an incremental transformation of the global order from within versus a Russian approach, which is more outwardly revisionist. For more on China's discourse power strategy, click the link to read my report.